he saw how the party responded to President Obama, people calling him all kinds of racist names who were party officials across this country. Yeah. Not just any old people. These were party officials who were calling Michelle Obama a monkey and ape and heels, all of that stuff. He saw that and he knew that, that the Republican Party, they wanted to do their racism through dog whistles. They wanted to do it through a whisper, through uh, where they could have plausible deniability if someone called them out. Trump saw that the base wanted it out front. Yeah, he saw that, and so he rode that wave through birtherism and has continued to ride that wave, but he did not incite the party or bring the party along. The party was already there. They were already there. Very quickly before I go back to Danielle, does he care if one of these women gets hurt, do you think? You know him. I, I don't think he cares because the only thing Donald Trump cares about is himself. So. He talked about having people riot if he wasn't, if, if he didn't win the election. Yeah, yeah. If this was a guy who also wanted to have a black versus white apprentice to have literally a race fight on the apprentice. Um, Danielle, um, for the Democrats then. You know, the response so far, I think, has been smart. It's been unity. It's been sticking together. It's saying it doesn't matter what your differences are with these women's policies. The policies don't matter. Trump didn't attack the policies. He attacked them in their bodies. He attacked them because of their being their brown and black, period. That's it. Uh, but is there is there is there some other action that Democrats, in your view, should be taking that's stronger than Congress? He needs a ride. Yeah, you know, I think that, you know, well, first of all, I just want to say I am glad that at least they all stood together and they did pass that resolution out of the yeah, House. Uh, but I think they need to yeah, keep yeah, yeah. talking about this, but they also need to tie it to the fact that this president yeah. is an ineffective, awful president, that he made a bunch of promises to people that he has broken, and they need to tie it all together, because I think the American people understand that he's a racist, they understand the words that he, they are saying, but I think they also need to understand that to tie the racism with his policies and what he's not doing for the American people and they need to also highlight the fact that while he's doing all of this, he's trying to take away their health care. While they're doing all of this, their being inhumane treatment is happening at the border. So they need to tie it all together 